All right, thank you very much, Stella. As we've been uh, looking at the threat of Ebola, it, it's important to remember it's time for concern, not for panic. So uh, we brought someone in to talk to, uh, to Dina about what we need to know here in Ontario about this deadly virus. Dina? Well said, Kev, it is an epidemic, not pandemic. And here to clarify is Dr. Natasha Krokoff, Chief of Infectious Disease. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for having me, Dina. There's so much information, some misinformation, and a ton of fear and paranoia. We yeah. see it, you know, all over the news headlines. Where are we? at now in terms of having the disease come to Canada? So we're very aware that there's a, a low, low probability, but a chance that a case somebody with infected with Ebola may come to Canada. And uh, for that reason, we've been working flat out to prepare for this. And I mean, I, I, I'm getting emails all night from people in the, the team who are, who are very aware. We're preparing guidance. We have huge amounts of information now available. Um, and we're as prepared as we can be, but we're watching all the time and producing new information. As anything comes up, we're, we're adapting uh, what we have available. My so. brother-in-law is an ICU nurse. You know, he's uh -huh. on the front lines of the hospitals. All of us are concerned about any family members who are putting themselves at risk by being in the front lines. Mm -hmm. So what is being done? Because we're hearing mixed messages that some people are feeling as though they're not getting proper instruction to safeguard against contamination and transmission. So uh, we have all the information we need to, to protect people. And um, we also make protecting everyone, all well, Canadians, um, but healthcare workers are in the front line of this. That's our, our number one priority. Now, uh, to kind of roll it back, what I said the probability was very low. So if you think about, we've got nearly 9,000 cases in West Africa, um, nearly 4,500 deaths there. It's, it's a terrible situation in West Africa. But you look at the North American context um, so far, no cases in Canada, zero. Nobody's, nobody's come here with Ebola. Um, a few, three people in North America and two healthcare workers have been infected. And we take that really, really seriously. Uh, but if you think about risk, um, every Canadian is at more risk of getting, the, getting influenza. As an example, you were saying many more thousands die from yeah. the flu virus every year, which is why people should, you definitely are a proponent of vaccinations for the flu. Absolutely, and hand washing, which of course is, uh, we should all be doing all the time, protects you against lots of things. And, uh, and less handshaking which is very important, it's true. And we're looking at, you know, yesterday we saw a fault in the system. The CDC saying the nurse shouldn't have been able to fly on that Cleveland mm -hmm. flight back home. She had a low-grade fever. She was monitoring herself. And then today they retract that saying, oh, that was our bad. We shouldn't have let her fly. Yeah. So that, I think, it causes more fear and paranoia because we feel like we have no one else to trust. We feel hopeless and helpless in this situation. Mm -hmm. And what about those other flyers that were on board? What was their risk of contamination by being in that same flight? Well. I, I mean, it, it, you have to acknowledge that no system is perfect, and CDC have acknowledged that. Um, the risk to people on the plane, we're, we haven't had any airline transmission. You, to get this virus, you have to be in very close contact with someone who's sick, you have to be in, or, or in contact with um, their... I, it's not Bodily really, fluids? It, yeah, it's not really breakfast time conversation, but, you know, it's diarrhea, it's blood, it's, Blimey. you know, vomiting, it's all of that stuff. You have to get it on your hands, you have to get it into your body. Mm -hmm. It's not something you get from being in the same room as someone. Um, even if someone who's, who's, who's sick, if they're the other side of the room and you don't touch them or touch anything to do with them, you know, you're not going to catch this, this disease. It's, um, we, we have a lot of information about how it's spread in Africa um, and, and we have a fantastic healthcare system in Canada. Uh, so you feel that we are well prepared to, um, if, should it come to Canada, keep people quarantined and our health workers safe? We have a very strong system. I acknowledge it's not perfect. And we're continuously working to try and make that better and to make sure our guidance is, is right and to reassure people. Mm -hmm. I just don't think people should be panicking about this. It makes great movies. But the images are terrifying the images with are the terrifying. hazmat suits. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank absolutely. you so much for taking the time today. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca to read up on it. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Thank, Thank you. you.